Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Motai Media, and we've got a full circle moment for Vicstar, Monster Cat, and even myself. In the days before I listened to Monster Cat as I do now, I watched a ton of Vicstar 1, 2, 3. Like, I genuinely don't think it's an understatement to say that I have watched more Vicstar than anyone watching this video right now, including you. I specifically remember a point where I had seen every single YouTube upload of his. As a Call of Duty gamer myself back in the day, I loved his unique challenge style videos and kill cams and all this like throwing knife uh, montages and, and strategies. And I, I loved it. I thought there was a perfect amount of content, even so much that I tried to replicate it with a Halo channel myself that uh, didn't really go very far. But I watched this stuff way before I actually even got into Monster Cat. But as time passes and years go on, I sort of stop watching Vicstar as much as I do. Vicstar ends up joining the Sidemen kind of YouTube squad, and uh, that really wasn't my flavor of content that I wanted to watch anymore. And uh, yeah, Monster Cat is created just a year after the Vicstar channel is created, and they go through their own eras and styles and, and, and different pockets of time. But just as 2023 was winding down, uh, something caught my attention that I did not expect. A new song. Better Off Alone, Part 3, by Alan Walker, Dash Berlin, and Vicstar. At first, I had thought, okay, Vicstar was just hopping on the rap bandwagon, as a ton of YouTubers do. But uh, as I listened through the song, I didn't really hear much of that, and I realized that Vicstar was actually a producer now. Eventually releasing his first kind of true solo-ish single in December of 2023, uh, Vicstar was on the EDM train now. With this release, it was sort of an acknowledgement that this isn't just a fad, it wasn't just a one-off kind of thing, that this is something that Vicstar truly wants to pursue. But before we get to the real full circle moment, we need to talk about the Monster Cat side of things. Monster Cat has always prided itself on being creator-friendly. In the early years of Monster Cat, they had this kind of manifesto that they posted about copyright and essentially stated that they're here to shake up the copyright system and uh, fostering uh, creative freedom, innovation, and the celebration of music. And for the last decade, Monster Cat has remained fairly true to that idea. Things have changed a bit here and there, but they are still one of the premier copyright-friendly labels. And it was probably that manifesto that caught the eye of a ton of content creators back then, one of them being Vicstar. Monster Cat's sound and the content that Vicstar was creating with this kind of FPS, Call of Duty, heavy challenge style videos, um, they mesh together really, really well. So much so that Vicstar used a ton of Monster Cat songs in a ton of his content. So much so that Vicstar is actually featured right now, currently, on the Monster Cat website as one of their testimonials for using Monster Cat Gold. And I'm sure by now you can put two and two together. This is the big full circle moment. It happened. Vicstar, Masked Wolf, Jamie, Know Me Better. New single releasing on Monster Cat Instinct. For everyone, uh, Vicstar, Monster Cat, even myself, this felt like seeing the fruits of their labor. Vicstar having used Monster Cat's stuff for years and pursuing his passion for music that probably was helped by Monster Cat and signing a new track of his to a label that he loves. Monster Cat's manifesto for copyright freedom reaping the rewards of new artists coming to them right away. And even myself selfishly excited to see a content creator that I once really, really loved and a label that I still love to this day coming together for a track. Like This is what it's all about. This is the music industry at its finest everything coming together, it's perfect. So why? Why do I hate this release so much? Oh yeah, we're doing a hard pivot on this video. Pretty much the second I saw this release, I had my doubts. To play a bit of the devil's advocate here, I wasn't overly excited to actually see Vicstar on Monster Cat because this would end up being his third sort of real release and real single, and I didn't really love the quality of the first two that I heard. In fact, that Alan Walker track actually landed on my worst songs of 2023 list that I did at the beginning of this year, and in retrospect, it probably didn't deserve to be on there, but that's neither here nor there. I had my hesitation seeing Vicstar here. And on top of that, you've got Masked Wolf joining the fray, an artist who is historically put out some pretty derivative and dull and kind of simple trap beats that managed to just hit big streaming numbers. One of those artists that really isn't loved by the nicher, more intimate EDM community, but one that uh, everyone kind of knows. Similar to like a, I would say, a, a modern David Guetta or a Steve Aoki. And on top of all of that, a critically acclaimed rapper in Jamie, uh, I mean, great, I love it. It just feels really random. But that's all just my preconceived notions about the song. Uh, I needed to give it a real listen. And well, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty bad. The production is a simple, unmotivated, boring slap house track with no real substance to it. And my biggest gripe with the song is the lyrics 
are meaningless. In my first listen through of the song, I was like, okay, I don't really get these lyrics, but I'm sure Jamie's going to come here and just blow this out of the water. That didn't really happen. His verse is actually shorter than the choruses, which is not really that normal and even stranger for a song as short as this one is. So let's just read through Jamie's verse here. Play it soft, don't play me. Masked Wolf, Vic Star, Jamie. Don't be confused, that's my G. Turn it up too, they're setting them free. Gaslight who, gaslight me. Everybody push up your flashlights, please. You thought you knew, but wait and see. You don't know me. What does any of this mean? Play it soft, don't play me? Gaslight who, gaslight me? Everybody push up their flashlights, please? This is literal nonsense, and it's not just Jamie's verse. Multiple times throughout the song, Masked Wolf sings a random metaphor or allegory that is equally just as meaningless. The whirlwind spins and loses control. Yeah, 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 you took me for a ride at a roll. Burn the lights, you never knew enough. The battle for the truth, I see the chords. Race him for the facts, you see the doors. Lights on through the smoke, don't take a pause. Why are you trying to play games for free? Put nightmares in my dreams acting like you got the key. What game, what key, what are we talking about? Now, I don't know if this is just me being, I don't know, dense or whatnot, but I genuinely took a decent amount of time to try to understand what was happening in this song, and I couldn't do it. And then I was like, I'll just watch the music video. This will make sense now. Now I have even more questions because, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the music video, it is a wolf, essentially, that is tracking down and assassinating poachers, which I support the sentiment of it, of the idea of not poaching. I don't really get the assassinating them, but the whole video overall just feels needlessly edgy. And a bit of a sidebar here, this is one of my biggest gripes with EDM producers, the need to feel like they're really cool and edgy. I just don't I don't get it. I don't get the appeal of it. Both Vicstar and Masked Wolf have this sort of tone and style to them that are like, oh, I am the greatest. I am the best person. Like, bow down to me. Like, I'm, I'm cool. Like, Masked Wolf's Spotify bio is throw me to the wolves and I'll return leading the pack. Come on. Okay, to bring it all back in for a second... For a decade, I have been listening to Monster Cat, and they have done such a fantastic job of keeping a core roster and sound throughout those years. And even then, they've adapted and evolved to the music landscape of the times and somehow continually stayed true to that Monster Cat sound. I'm genuinely amazed that there's over 3,500 songs on Monster Cat, and pretty much every single one of them sounds like they belong on the label. They sound like they belong in the ecosystem. Furthermore, Monster Cat has sort of prided itself on being a label for the nicher fans, for the people that really, really are invested into EDM and not so much the more commercial crowd. They've never really succumbed to the rapid fads and trends of each year and have always focused on putting out good quality music. But this is the first time in a decade plus of listening to Monster Cat that I would say that this song doesn't feel like a Monster Cat song. I just don't think the individual quality of this track is there and on par with what Monster Cat has strived to do for so long. And with the name value of Vicstar, Masked Wolf, and Jamie, something just feels off about this release. This is the first time that I would say, and it feels to me like Monster Cat put out a cash grab of a song. But with all that being said, I sort of understand why. It's for that full circle moment. Monster Cat is showcasing that anyone can release on the label if they work hard enough and work at it. And simultaneously getting bigger names in the label like Mast Wolf and Jamie is a huge plus. Monster Cat is reaping the rewards of why they exist as a label. And I can't really hate on that. I think it's actually something special. On paper, this is a huge milestone of a track for Monster Cat. But the song, it's just... It's not my cup of tea. And moving forward, I will be quite cautious when I see big names hit the label for the first time. I love the storyline. I love the history that led up to this release. And I think it's a really fascinating, fun, special track. But sometimes life just isn't a fairy tale. Sometimes reality kicks in. And the reality here is that the song just 
wasn't ready for Monster Cat. But hey, that is just my opinion. I just wanted to share some thoughts on this track in particular. I felt a lot of different ways about it, and I'm very curious to hear what you have to say about this song in particular. Did you like it? Do you like the full circle moment? Are you happy with the song individually? I, I, I gotta know. Am I the only one feeling this? Am I crazy? Am I gonna get hate for this? I'd love to hear in that comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.